Who's thinking about you now? If you were building a wall, or who would tear it all down and pull you through? Or who's thinking about you? Welcome to Thoughts. I'm your host, Josie James, and this is my guest on today's show, my cat, Serena. Uh, she's a pain in the neck and will actually chew you out, but this is the only guest for today's show. Uh, as you, for those of you wondering why we haven't done sh- one of these shows in a while, unfortunately, if you've been living in Ohio, snow. Snow. Lots of snow. Uh, some quick updates on what's been going on. Uh, I'm still getting asked questions about Ricky, uh, the gentleman I interviewed for homelessness. Um, he is currently, thankfully, no longer homeless, uh, but then some other situations happened, and now he's incarcerated. Uh, apparently, uh, it was uh, a felonious assault charge, from what I understand. Uh, there was a situation between him and another gentleman over a, well, I won't call her girl, let's just call her floozy, uh, and he ended up stabbing the other guy. Other than that, now, um, well, I'm wishing him luck, but from the looks of it, he's going to do a minimum, from what uh, me and Joe know about law, uh, a minimum one to three, upwards of three to five, depending upon what happens. So, uh, but apparently the police also want the other gentleman in question, so, uh. but today's actual show is on the problems of aging, and yes, I have my research notes, as I always do, and the main reason why this came up is because of something that is going on with my mom. Uh, for those of you that know me and have met me and you know, know some of the situation, uh, one of the things I do as far as a quote-unquote technically a job, it's not a job, I'm my mother's caretaker, or at least I was. Uh, there is a chance that she may end up going into a nursing home. Uh, they have to do an assessment on her. She is currently in a rehab facility because she had to go to the hospital because she had a very low blood count. Uh, and they're talking about the red blood cells. Very low. Well, it turns out she's been bleeding. Uh, internally, uh, she has, uh, they checked her. She's got polyps in her colon. Um, but this brought up a lot of issues where I'm arguing with the um, group that controls her finances. Uh, for some reason, she's only getting roughly about $700 a month. Um, wait a minute. This is her social security and her, uh, this is her SSI and her SSDI? That doesn't sound right. Your average apartment nowadays almost costs that much. You know, and if it hadn't been for luck, I would have been able to find a place that she's currently renting, which is pretty 35 a month. You know, but it's also a piece of devil heat, but that's beside the point. Um, so basically, I started doing some research on this as far as what are we doing here in the United States for our elderly? Um, in various Asian cultures, uh, strangely enough, the elderly are revered. They're sources of wisdom, they're well taken care of. Here in the United States, they're an embarrassment. Wait a minute, why are the elderly an embarrassment? These are our grandmothers and grandfathers, our mothers and fathers. So, uh, to give you some more, uh, uh, currently, um, let's see, $275 billion were cut uh, for Medicare and Medicaid in the 2014 government budget. Uh, why? Why is this being cut? This is money that we, as taxpayers, are paying out for our futures. Same way with Social Security. Why is these... We paid for this. These are programs that we agreed with. You know, President um, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, when he set up these, the New Deal, so people would have retirement funds, things like that. They would pay for it in their taxes. Out of their good or hard money. So they would make sure they have money when they retire. And our Republicans are saying, we need to cut this, this is an entitlement issues. Entitlement, we paid for this. So, and that's why I said there's a few Republicans right now that if I were to meet them, like Ricky, I'd have a felonious assault charge, but I wouldn't use a knife. I believe in using these. How dare they? But no, take a look at some, and this is things we've just been allowing to happen, allowing to go on. The property rates um, currently from people 65 and over are it varies from 75, uh, 7.5% to 9.4%, upwards to 10.7% to 14.6%. 
uh, depending upon areas, locations, things like that. Uh, uh, of course, there's a general increase in health care costs. Currently, it's 50% higher than an original estimate that was done in 2002. Okay, uh, Dell held by the elderly, uh, actually 120% higher. Uh, those able to save for retirement has dropped. Originally, it was 49%. These were people who were able to, besides Social Security, be able to save up money, put it in the 401ks, what have you, and save up for their retirement age. And that's dropped to, and this is the shocking number, 24%. What? And so our government, in their infinite wisdom, or our Republicans in government, in their infinite wisdom, are calling Social Security entitlement. Entitlement. Hmm. I'm entitled to be able to breathe air. I'm entitled to live. And if I'm paying taxes into something, I am entitled to it. Okay. So, what are they doing? Oh, well, they're still giving the 1%. Ones who have 90% of the wealth and are only paying maybe 10% of the taxes. Does that make any sense? Um, okay, to go through some of these other notes, Social Security benefits have dropped significantly. Uh, it's actually um, it pushed from various Bible Beltway. I won't call them politicians. I'm just going to call them what they really are: crooks. Uh, or I should say politicians, but they're still crooks. I haven't called the cat's entitlement reform. Again, what's the deal with that? This is not an entitlement. This isn't something, um, this is something we've learned. This is something we've been paying for. You know, all of us, the minute we start working, we start getting that first paycheck, it's right there. Tax is taken out for this. Tax is taken out for that. That's our money. Go back to Bush. What did he do? He pretty much ripped it off to pay for his little war games. You know, why that man isn't incarcerated is still beyond me. I am talking about George W. Jr., the one who waved to Stevie Wonder. Okay. I'll go back through some of my other notes on this. Um, okay, yeah, as I'll put it down here. Um, Social Security isn't being paid for by the American people, for the American people, according to these people. That doesn't make any sense. You know, I think we all try and look out for our elderly. We try and help out our relatives. Well, I take it back, except for my biological sisters. Uh, they haven't seen my mom since 1997. Uh, I've been out of the city. Didn't get back to Columbus until 2004. And I was kind of shocked to see the state of prayers with mom. I thought my sisters would be looking after her. No, they stick their heads up their torso. So, um... Currently on the table, though, is that push to increase benefits, not cut them. But is it too late for those already suffering from poverty that they're almost homeless? Okay, and bring us back around full circle. You know, if we're trying to make things better for all of us, why are we letting these, you know, the government's supposed to work for us. They're supposed Who's thinking about you now? If you were building a wall, well, who would tear it all down and pull you through? Well, who's thinking? Okay, we had a bit of a uh, technical difficulty with the camera. Apparently, the batteries are bad. We're gonna have to recharge them again. Um, so basically, wrap this up real quick. I mean, think about what happened with LA and what our government is doing. The benefits that we're actually paying for with our taxes. Okay, so this is Josie James, and your host, and for your own thoughts. And saying as I always do, think for yourself. Take a look both sides of the issue, make up the judgment for yourself, and don't let some big mouth of the idiot, even me, make the decision for you. You have a good day. Who's thinking about you now? If you were building a wall, well, who would tear it all down and pull you through? Well, who's
was thinking about you 